Um, Ultraviolet is a gender justice organization and I lead our campaign fighting disinformation. If you haven't heard the term before, disinformation is intentionally false info that's meant to mislead people. And it has become a key tool used by the right to radicalize people and spread racism, misogyny, and division across social media and the world. Disinfo works hand in hand with existing cultural bias and is most often used to attack black women, women of color, disabled people, LGBTQ people, and other marginalized communities. These attacks are meant to silence these voices and push forward right-wing ideologies. That's why it's no surprise that disinformation is being used to attack the historic nomination of Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson. Ultraviolet believes that social media platforms and legislators must create systematic policies for stopping the spread of disinformation. But there are steps we can all take to spot and limit the spread of disinfo in our own communities. So how do you know if what you're reading is disinformation? First, trust your instincts. Does it seem too over the top or outrageous to be true? Is it just trying to make you angry? If you think something is off, you're probably right. Start by doing a reverse image Google search to look for the original source of any photos that you see in the article or on the website because photos are often taken out of context or edited to make something appear real that isn't. You can use fact checking sites like PolitiFact and Snopes and check well respected news outlets like the New York Times or the Washington Post that can help you find the facts. Question the source. Is it from a well-researched news site with journalistic standards or from someone trying to push an agenda or sell a product? Ask yourself how the message and photos are filtered through biases against BIPOC, disabled, LGBTQ people, women, and underrepresented groups. If you suspect that you've come across disinformation, don't reshare it, even if it's to, be, to debunk it, because that actually just brings more attention to that false information. Instead, you can use the tools built into social media platforms or whatever other, you know, if you've seen it on the news site or something like that, um, contact them and report this information as wrong or reach out to a group that's on this call today if you can't figure out how to report it and you need help. These are a few quick tips to help you get started, but if you're interested in more information to fight disinformation, be sure to sign up to receive the toolkit at the end of this call, which will have more resources and examples. Thank you.